Guys, I'm so excited to show you these. So starting off, I was super excited. I used my Tombow dual brush pens in the Galaxy Pack again to make some nice watercolor galaxies to be able to have them as a file. And you can print them out and use them like I did in my January bullet journal. Instead of doing it directly on the page itself, I have printouts now. So I just made six of these and then I made a couple more at the bottom that I really liked for just like headers and whatnot. And I downloaded the file, made two separate files for them, and then I just continued my second page for my bullet journal. So I used two different purple colors to just kind of like give a little pop in between the days. And then here we go. This is what they look like. And I just printed out, I think three sets of seven so then I just cut them out for every day that I needed and then just placed them where I wanted with the uh, Tombow, like, I don't know what it's called, it's like the mono sticker stuff, I don't know. But that's what I use instead of using like sticker paper or anything, I just use the sticky stuff and then I wrote on them the days of the month and whatnot and the coloring against the black just like it pops, it looks so good. And then these are the other files that I have right here. And I just kind of cut them in half so they could fit on the page kind of nicely. And these are an 8.5 by 11 file. So you can print these out on a full page or you can like change it around if you want. So I used the two different colors at the top and then I just kind of switched them at the bottom to just kind of give a cool look to it. And then I did six more for the next week. And so this is kind of how this page turned out. I really love this watercolor stuff and I'm really excited to play with these some more. So if you like these, I will have them on my Etsy shop. Super excited for you guys to be able to have these. And then speaking of more things that I want you to have, I have been wanting to do this for forever. Um, I made a calendar spread. So there's like the one side and then the other side is the rest of them. And then this took so long, so please give me a thumbs up for how dedicated I am. But I just did all different sizes of dots for the background. And I left everything blank so you can fill it in for whatever month you want. You can add accents to them if you would like. Just, yeah. And it took so freaking long. But I honestly had a blast. It was really fun to just do all different sizes of dots. And so it gives that little bit of different, I don't know, variation. And then this next page are just random things that I wanted to do. So I have like a couple like floral doodles. I have just a little square that you can put anything you want into it. And then I have a couple of floral headers. And then the grid thing is to be able to make your own uh, calendar look through like at a glance, like my past video. I thought that would be kind of fun to have it so you can fill it out what you want and put it in the way you want it. So then I just scanned it and printed this page and then I used my handy dandy cutter that you actually really need to be careful around because I sliced my thumb. But this is how they turned out. I've got the calendar and then these are, I took the files and I made them into their own separate ones instead of one page. And then I just pasted it into my journal and then I had a little fun with it. So I put the month and then I wanted to add a little bit of accent and whatnot to it and I just filled out. You can use the little circles to put in your dates and then I took a gray Tombow brush pen and I put a drop shadow in and I think it honestly made it pop. So you can do this if you want but you have the option of not having that on there if you don't want to or using any color. And then this is where I cut my thumb. Just if you cut these out or keep it on the whole page if you would like. I cut them down to be able to fit into a different journal. But just be careful with scissors and knives and cutters and all that fun stuff. And then I just kind of put them a little bit closer together and filled it out. And I think it looks really cute. This is just a fun option for you guys to do and just be able to customize it, put in any type of font you want. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. And then this is just using some of the different accents that I made just for fun. I just cut them out 
and just kind of use them as like bullet points and then headers and dividers just giving you ideas of what you can use for it so I have like a to-do list and then I have things I want to do before I'm 25 because I turned 25 this year you guys are like oh so on here I actually wrote out what I needed to do <laughs> and then I had I saw this before where it's like 19 before 2019 I was like ooh I should probably do a spread for that because that sounds awesome but yeah that is all of the stuff I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you'd like something that you want to maybe buy check out my Etsy shop I'll have all of these linked down below but give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos I'm gonna go I hope everybody has a great day and I'll talk to you guys later bye